Cowboys have come from afar and wide to ride this boat. Nobody here. Yeah, he's got a Guns N' Roses record. He's, he's bucked for six years. He's done 35 buck outs with some of the best riders in the country. No one's come close. Three seconds is probably the longest anyone's stayed on him. And this is his last one tonight. If you knew how much respect this cowboy had for this bull, and how much respect this bull has for this his owner and cowboy friend, his contractor, Dallas Wolchewski, then you will know that behind that shoot right there tonight, there's emotions boiling up inside everybody. I'm Dallas Wolchewski, I'm the stock contractor for the Nunai Tavern Radio. So I supply all the bulls and I'm responsible for what goes on in the arena. Um, yeah, I ended up in the wheelchair when I was at Gatineau College down in Queensland. I was actually going to the library, which I never went to the bloody library. And then, so I go to the library to copy some notes and got hit by a truck at the turn off to this. So I ended up as a uh, paraplegic, semi paraplegic. I can move my legs a little bit. But then, um, which, which is no big deal. It's never bothered me since day one. Tavern Radio, last one for 2019. In my tavern radio. Something we started eight years ago. Um, radios were, I thought, at an all time low in the territory, so I started back in, I think it was 08. And slowly built it up. I mean, we, we started here, we had no grandstands, nothing, and really quickly built. And now it's probably, well, it is considered one of the best outdoor radios in the country. The aim or the goal of the bull rider is to stay on that bull for eight seconds. Once the gate opens, once you call to the gate and you're out there, the, the nerves shut down, they're gone, and it's just pure adrenaline and, and fun. I've done lots of crazy things, but bull riding tops them, it's, it's, it's a great thing. There are dangers and risks, but you, you don't do it unless you do love it. Crack out the gate. Here I am, my you know, yeah, you've got two guys out there, three guys out there, bullfighters um, watching your back. Um, nowadays they all got vests and helmets on. We never did nowadays, but I, I'd find it hard to ride with gear on, but they're, they're protected pretty well. But yeah, the nerves are all gone when the gate opens. You'll see a guy, some guys I've seen shaking on the back of the bull, then get bucked off or ride and come, come scream about happy as I want to do it straight away again. On the night here, if you win the bull ride, then you get a chance to ride Guns N' Roses. So you have to get the highest score. That's the aim, they all want to win the bull ride firstly and then they want to get a crack at Guns N' Roses being an unridden bull. Yeah, tonight's his final ride. Um, I'll back him all the way. This is his last buck out. This is the last chance for the Northern Territory to appreciate this ball. We do have one of the best riders in the country here, in Rowan Markham. He just won on Curry. Next week he won Mount Isa, and the week after that, second in Townsville Elite. So I'll still back the ball, 100%. And this ball take the last ride together. That is that, that the top cowboy. He gets out real fast. He gets the rider off his rope a little bit and goes into that first corner really hard. Give this bull your blessing to retire. Give this cowboy the chance to make it happen. Be proud, Northern Territory, be proud. <laughs> gentlemen that man right there on your screen stand up and give him your applause they're just like pets I mean 
you know, they've all, all got a different personalities. They, some of them are big, scary, bloody things, but you look after them, they get a bit of trust and between you and the bull. You feed them well, you look after them well, and I can poke around them in a wheelchair at home, no worries at all. Good. A bit better. Cool, yeah. But that's it for him, and then he'll be, he'll still stay at home with me, and a few cows, I'll buy some good bucking heifers for him. Because you have to have good heifers, not just your average cow, they've got to be able to buck as well. And that's it, he does, he'll live out his life with us. Yeah, it's very much a Buddha, eh? That's all.